I'm Cricket Olin and I'm a snow ranger in western Colorado. A little thing that I laugh about in my head lately is like I know I'm ready to go when I have my hair tie, my chapstick, and a Jolly Rancher in my pocket. <laughs> So the Forest Service has traditionally had rangers throughout summer, but snow rangers are a newer thing. And I think the land managers are recognizing that winter use is increasing. And so this program was developed to kind of get ahead of the ball. So as recreation in general uh, has gotten more popular and winter recreation has gotten more accessible, more and more people are getting into the backcountry, which causes issues with user conflict, with parking, um, and just with people being educated in the backcountry. Even before COVID, we were seeing a lot more users in the winter time. Uh, with COVID, just really accelerated that. Anybody that was kind of backcountry curious just made the jump. As soon as the resorts shut down in March, um, people flooded all of the, the really accessible mountain passes. I'm Jack, I'm from Albuquerque. I'm Nate, also from Albuquerque. Yeah, there's certainly places uh, where, you know, if you're not there at like 8 a.m., it's, it's just mayhem. We're seeing things like trash and dog poop and human poop in the backcountry in places that it shouldn't be. And on the human side, we're really seeing an impact in the experience that people are having in the backcountry. They can't find solitude. They can't find untracked slopes. Everywhere they go, there are people, there is noise, there are users, um, and they can't get away from it. So the Snow Rangers really came about through this partnership with the Forest Service in, uh, with a goal of having a presence on the ground. Oftentimes in the Forest Service, we disappear in the wintertime. Um, but I thought there's a ton of people out there and so it'd still be good to have a presence and somebody, you know, talking to folks. This is our first year working together and Brian and I have had a lot of fun together. There's always the first few weeks where you're trying to figure each other out and as the season's gone on, we've really, I think, gotten on the same page and just charged. Ryan has a background in uh, medicine, EMT, and a lot more avalanche experience than I do. And my background with the Forest Service is public relations and, and talking to folks. So I think we are a really good team. We both bring strengths to the program. And this is my backyard. So in terms of just knowing the area, I think it's great to like show someone new just where to go and what's out there. So the CAC is the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, which is a state government agency. There are 23 forecasters and we're spread out across the mountainous regions of Colorado. The most memorable thing for takeaway from this season was how deadly our avalanche cycle was um, from December through February really. Um, it was an incredibly reactive, um, we call them persistent weak layers, so a structural instability lower in the snowpack that really um, behaved in a way that I had not seen in my experience. It's a great thing about their Snow Ranger program, right? Because they are out there actually talking to people at trailheads and just interacting with, with the general public. The variety of work we do with CDOT in the winter mostly pertains to snow plowing and keeping the highway open. Uh, we also do avalanche mitigation. The best thing people can do to help make our jobs easier and make it easier on themselves is to know the areas that they're allowed to park in and to give us as much room as possible to do our jobs. My favorite thing about the Snow Ranger program is we're, we're getting more information out to the general public when it comes to um, all facets of the backcountry, whether that's avalanche danger, um, what zones are acceptable for motorized travel. Have you checked the forecast? Do you know about this terrain? Do you have a map to ensure that they know where, where they can go? Um, and do our part as far as you know, pre preserving the resource as well as, as, as lives. 
We, we don't have a normal day. We wake up, look at the AVI forecast, and decide where to go primarily based on that, and then also which areas we need to patrol. But it's wonderful because it's completely flexible and uh, weather-based and sometimes mood-based. If we're tired of digging out the snowmobiles, we'll go do something else. Part of our daily routine is using an app called RIMS, and it's great. You can do trail assessments, like if a tree is down on the trail, um, or visitor use assessments. So we just open up that app and then count number of vehicles, what states they're from, um, people we interact with, even like dogs on or off leash. Just getting a snapshot of, of who's out there. We partner with the Forest Service and a number of other partners to make this program happen. Um, the agencies put in funding, but then Black Diamond, Athletic Brewing, Weston have helped us out with gear and sponsorship um, to put this program on the ground. It takes a lot, right? There's not, not just our payroll costs for the Rangers to actually be out on the ground, but they've got to have good safety equipment, good touring equipment, so that they can do their jobs efficiently and effectively. Weston supports the CMC Snow Ranger program because our values are aligned. We want to educate our consumers, we want to educate users on what is responsible travel, whether it be avalanche safety, appropriate land use, don't leave dog poop at the trailhead, don't park where it says don't park. These really basic things that may seem basic to us, but they have a tremendous impact on preserving these lands. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, I am a uh, proud queer trans woman who works for Athletic Brewing. We chose the Snow Ranger program because uh, we really wanted to help welcome new users into the backcountry community. And, and I think nothing does that better than like having a couple smiling faces to like greet you at the trailhead and answer questions and sort of help demystify the whole backcountry experience. Most people are surprised that there is a Snow Ranger program but the response has been that they're pleased that there are people out there um, getting eyes on what's going on. And I think it's really important too that for all the people that are at desks making decisions, we're trying to connect like what's going on out there to help them make decisions. Brian and Cricket are really passionate about this work. They bring a ton of energy and that bleeds into their communication with the public to get people stoked about being out in the backcountry. I hope that we can have more Snow Ranger programs at places throughout the, the country, even world, because there are so many places like this that are very easily accessible, that are seeing major jumps in user traffic and just usage, but there's nothing more fulfilling about, about creating a community, about creating hopefully a legacy and, and influencing an entire group of people to be better stewards. Cheers! Cheers. 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 Sweet